I'm D.R. Vandrager. Uh, we operate Lavender Farms in British Columbia. The farm has been in the family for about 55 years now. I'm third generation here. Seven and a half years ago, we put in Laylee A3 robots to do the milking, and then six months ago, we put in a vector feeding system. We own about 75 acres, but we farm an additional 150 acres over that. We round bale typically rye and orchard grasses, and then we grow an additional about 70 acres of corn for silage. The corn silage is put into open pit bunkers, and then we cut blocks out of that to fill the vector. We actually used our robots as just computer feeders for a week. There wasn't that much new to it, it was just a matter of changing the switch. Advice I would give a future robot owner when you're shopping, definitely look at the cost to maintain and run your unit. Yeah, and just be patient, it will take time. We had two hired men, and I really needed just one and a half. And the vector was the difference for me to be able to go down to one guy, because it was three years of his wages alone. You know, and now that we're running, we're seeing where the cows are eating less, the cows are milking more, the cows milk more, so we need less up. Cow health on our farm has been quite good. I honestly don't know the last time we had a displaced abomasum. Mastitis cases are lower than we were with the parlor. I like working with cows, but I detest it standing in the milking parlor. You know, and our production went up dramatically since switching over, going to three times, three and a half times a day milking with the robots versus two, and just the freedom that comes with it. Uh, we, we went with Laylee milking robots in the first place because I just felt it was a better product. You know, to me, that's one of the really big things with robots is you need good service. Well, the herd is definitely benefiting from the automation. And when you think things are going well, it's going to get better.